Uh, so we get to the end of the summer, and I'm breathing that collective sigh of relief and exhaustion that I do every <laughs> end of the summer. And after Nate finished his sermon last week um, on the concept of total surrender, Eli pulled me into my office and said, Mom, it's time for me to give my life to Jesus. I would like to be baptized. And so we had a wonderful conversation and a wonderful prayer time. And um, he said one thing that I just wanted to share with you guys in that conversation. Um, he said that he'd been struggling for a while and putting this off because he, he had it in his head that uh, perfection and total surrender meant the same thing. And I just want to stand here in front of my biblical community today to say that perfection and total surrender do not mean the same thing. In fact, uh, Lainey said it eloquently at our youth gathering last Friday that uh, total surrender is to admit that perfection is not attainable. Um, so Eli comes before you, his biblical community today, um, to say that he is handing over his life for the sake of Christ. And I can't think of um, a better moment in my life than this one. So um, how fitting that today was the lesson on biblical community so many of you have poured into him from the moment he started staying with the beards while I was working in Ohio to the many of you who have volunteered to teach him about the Bible, um, to those of you who have modeled what sacrifice looks like. I am so grateful, eternally grateful, literally here, um, that we can celebrate this moment with you because you have, um, in many ways, uh, God has used you to make this moment possible. So. Um, Eli, if you'll repeat after me, I believe. I believe Jesus is the Christ. that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, the Son of the living God and, he is and he is my Lord and Savior. My Lord and Savior. Now, while you are all our family, I'd like for our family to come and gather around Eli here, and Joe's going to lead us in some prayer time. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for Eli and for this decision that he has made to surrender his life to you. God, I thank you for the people that are standing around him right now and their influence on his life and on his heart to be willing to make this commitment to you. I thank you for this room full of people that has poured into his life, that has given him an example of what it means to be a Christ follower. God, I just pray that um, as he is just now starting out this journey, um, that he would continue to have the same hunger and thirst for you for years to come until his dying breath, God, that, that he would be a light for you um, wherever you might send him. God, as he grows in you, I just pray that you would help us to stay strong and to be an example, the example that he needs to strengthen him and to help him to grow into the man of God that you desire him to be. God, we thank you so much for your son, for his sacrifice for us so that moments like this are even possible. God, it's in the, in the name of your holy son that we pray. Amen. Allegedly, one of the greatest joys of my life, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. celebrate the new life that you gained for us. God, please help each one of these hearts represented here today to leave this place and to live lives that point to you. We praise you for all that you are. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> 